welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through an experiment with me. We're going to try to make our homemade candles. So I've already made one today. Um, it kind of moved around a little bit. So I made a candle. Um, I just used a empty Bath and Body Works candle that I had laying around and I made my own candle. I made it with um, a my like a fragrance that I ordered online. Um, I went out to Michael's and I bought the wax and I decided I wanted to make a candle today. So this one smells like bay rum and vanilla. It's actually pretty strong. Um, so it's kind of giving me Bath and Body Works vibes already, which is really awesome. I'm really excited to see if this one works. I've already made one other candle um, a couple of days ago and it worked, but it wasn't a strong enough scent. So I just kind of put it downstairs. My boyfriend's lighting it. It's just kind of a candle for light. It's not really that scented. It doesn't smell like anything. So I'm not really going to be talking about that candle. But I did make this one today. I made it about two hours ago and it worked out pretty well besides the wick moving a little bit right there. As you can see it's uh, moved. But anyway it's hard now and I can light it and it's ready to go and it actually smells really good. So I'm going to be taking you guys into my kitchen to show you guys how I made the candle and it was actually really fun, so I'm really excited to uh, show you guys what I did and how easy it is to make your own candles at home. So the steps for it, I will go into the kitchen and I'll show you, but I'm just gonna lay out some of the things that you're gonna need to create your own candles at home. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a jar, a cup, a something, a container of some sorts that is able to um, contain wax that's going to be hot. So I'm using my Bath and Body Works candles that I have already lit and are already um, just laying around my house. And then you're gonna need some wicks. So I got these from a candle and soap store just online. So I went to, um, it was Windy Soap. I think it's called Windy Soap Candles Store, something like that. It's local to my province. So I went there and it's the Windy Point Soap and Candle um, Store. So I got a bunch of wicks. You can get wicks on Amazon. You can get wicks at Michael's. Like you really don't have to order from this particular seller. But I got 50 wicks for $5, so that's pretty good. I also um, ordered a bunch of fragrances from the Windy Point Soap Making Supplies place. And so this is the fragrance Snow Fairy. So if you guys are familiar with Lush, they do have a bubble bar that's called Snow Fairy. And it smells identical to this. So they made a dupe for that fragrance and I'm very excited to make a candle with it. I have used this in my tub, in my bubble baths and stuff and it's really great. So you can use this fragrance for making soap, you can use it and add it into bubble bath or um, any type of stuff that you put into the tub already. You just need to follow the proper instructions for how much you can use in the tub and what's not going to hurt your skin. Um, so there is like a whole women's basically sheet on their website so if you are interested in their fragrances you can go take a look at that because you can use them on your skin and you can use them in candles. So I am going to use um, some of the fragrances that I bought off of that website. Also I have another oil set that I um, got from Amazon and it's like pina coladas and vanilla and just a bunch of different scents so I may use one of those as well. You can get those on Amazon. I will link everything down below where I got them online so you guys can go check it out if you guys are interested in some of the scents. You will also need wax. So I got this from Michaels. This is just a standard candle wax that you can get. Um, I was going to order beeswax from Amazon but it was very expensive so I decided to go to Amazon and I got 27 bars for I think it was like $38 and I got 9 pounds of wax. So I have my wax and to fill one of the Bath and Body Works standard size candles, um, you're going to need three of these bricks. So that's about one pound of wax. So there's already that. I already have that. That's exactly what I used for here. This is a pound of wax in here. And then you're going to need scissors to cut your wick once your wick is already once your wax is poured into it and your wick is like really tall, you'll need to cut it down to size. You're gonna need a hot glue gun to glue your wicks down in your candle so that they don't move around. And didn't really know which glue to use just because Bath and Body Works um, does actually glue their wicks down. I just don't know what glue they used. When I was Googling it online, um, everybody said to use a hot glue gun because hot glue can obviously be heated. So I decided to just glue them down with some hot glue. And you're going to need a measurement cup of one tablespoon because that's what I did. I did one tablespoon of oil per pound of wax, which is what online said to do. So now I'm going to take you guys into the kitchen and we can get going on this candle making business. All right, so we're in my kitchen. I'm sorry, my kitchen is very ancient and very old and it was made in like the 70s. So 
ugly countertops. Anyway, so the first thing you guys are going to need to do is you're going to fill a pot up with water and you're going to turn it on to high. You're also going to take another bowl that's going to fit on top, similar to like a double boiler. If you have a double boiler, that's great. I don't. So you're going to need to put your pot on top so that the water will boil and then it'll melt the wax on top. So you're going to need three bricks of wax. So I'm going to start off by melting one at a time, uh, maybe two at a time. So I'm going to put two in here, nah, one at a time. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the other one just so it melts a little bit quicker. So like so. And then you're just going to let it heat up and melt. And then once it melts, we can go on to the next step. So. First thing you need to do is obviously wait for your, your water to boil. Another thing you're gonna need is oven mitts, so make sure you have oven mitts nearby because this gets really hot and you don't wanna burn yourself. So I'm gonna come back once this has melted down or is starting to at least melt, so we will see you guys in, I don't know, five minutes. <laughs> so while that is heating up, I wanna show you guys some of the other um, containers that I'm gonna use to be making candles. So I got this one from Michaels, so it's just a little cauldron. It's actually used for baking, but um, I thought it would make a really good candle. So I'm going to make a candle out of it, and it is microwavable safe, and it's also dishwasher safe, so that's really awesome. The other one I got from Michaels is a skull. I thought it would make a really cute candle and very, very aesthetic for Halloween, so that's why I picked it up. They were literally only like $6. So I got these two um, containers to make candles. And then the last candle container that I picked up was actually a mug from Spirit Halloween. And I thought it would be perfect. It's the Poison Apple from Snow White. I thought it would be absolutely perfect for a candle. So that's why I picked it up. And I'm very excited to make a candle into it. But for today's video, because I'm making a candle for my roommate's mom. I'm going to be using this red candle that I already have the wicks glued into just because I'm going to be giving her a decently sized candle. So that's what we're waiting for this to boil for and then I will make my other candles in the other containers later. It takes a little while for the wax to melt and for this to heat up and boil so I'll come back probably in about 10 minutes and we'll see where we are at because right now it's not even close to melting. It's only been like two minutes. So it's been about five minutes or so and the wax melts pretty quickly. You just gotta keep watching it. I wouldn't suggest walking away or anything. I would suggest make sure just like stand here and make sure that the wax doesn't burn or catch on fire because that would suck. Um, I'm just using a fork and a bowl that I don't really care about just so the wax doesn't get all over my counter and just having it melt as slowly as it does. But don't I don't suggest touching the anywhere near the steam. Um, I don't suggest touching the bowls or anything without oven mitts on. So make sure you are cautious because it does get hot and it will burn you and that won't be good. So yes, I will come back once the wax is fully melted and then we can add the fragrance and pour it into the container. All right, so I just added a, another block in because we needed three blocks to equal one pound. So once the last block has melted, we can add our fragrance, which is just one tablespoon of whatever oil you want to use. It be a fragrance oil or it could be an essential oil, whatever you want to make your candle smell like. All right, so now that I have my wax completely melted, it's just sitting here on my oven mitt, we can go ahead and add our scent. So I'm not gonna be using the scent that I got from the soap um, supply store. I'm gonna be using this, the scents that I got off of Amazon. So I'm gonna be using the scent pineapple and pina colada, and I'm going to be mixing one tablespoon of the scent into my oil. All right, so I'm going to be mixing one tablespoon of the essential oil in. So this is the Eternal Essence um, fragrance from just Amazon. I just ordered a bundle of them and they're all like tropical scents. So I'm going to be taking pina colada. And this takes a couple minutes. I just do it over top of the bowl so if any of it spills out, it just hits the bowl anyway. So that was about half of pina colada and we'll do the rest pineapple. I'm gonna go about there with the pineapple and just do a little bit more pina colada. This one came out a little bit easier. All right, so I'm gonna stop about there because I did get a lot of the fragrance in the bowl when I was dropping it in. So I'm just gonna pour the oil directly in here and then I'm just gonna take a spoon and swirl it around. So now you can go ahead and add coloring if you want your candle to be um, colored or you can just go ahead and pour your 
wax into whatever container you're using. So I am using this container. So like I said, I've already placed the wicks in. I'll, all I did was I glued the wicks down. So I didn't do that on camera. I just literally took a glue gun and glued the bottom of the wicks and stuck it down. And I did that about an hour ago before I started doing all of this. So this is what they look like. And then once the wax is poured in, you can just cut the wicks down to the length that you want it to be. For example, in this one, I just cut them down to a little bit higher than the candle. So now, um, if you have a funnel, that would work the best, but because I don't have one, I'm just taking my wax and a spoon, and I'm just pouring the wax into it. The thing that sucks with wicks is um, I, they tend to not want to stay straight up, so what I do is I take a fork and I just kind of hold them into place until the wax has hardened. That's what I've done for the last two candles that I've used and it seems to be working pretty well. So I may have to use that again. The wax is still warm, but it's not super hot. So me holding the candle isn't burning my hand or anything like that. So I'm gonna go until I run out of wax. So I'm gonna go about there. There's still a little bit of wax left in the bowl, but I don't want to overfill the candle and I don't want to burn myself either. So you can see that the wax dries very quickly, it cools off very quickly. So I'm just scraping any of the sides where the wax is and then just take my spoon and throw it into the wax. And it will, oh God, I just got wax all over my desk. Ew. Um, it will dry very quickly. So I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna go get a fork and just place them so that the wicks stand straight up. So I'm gonna go do that quickly. So here's my makeshift holder. You can actually buy um, a type of material that holds the candle in place where the wick is supposed to be right in the center, but I don't have one of those, so I'm just being creative and using forks. <laughs> so this is what the candle looks like when it is setting. So it is already starting to cool. It's starting to go um, really solid at the bottom here and it will go all the way up once it is fully cooled down and then it will look like this. So I'm going to let this dry and set and then I will come back once it's fully hardened and then we can light it and see if it works. All right, as you can see, it is pretty much hardened. Um, I'm still going to let it set for a little while, but because it is almost done hardening, I do want to light the other one. I'm not going to light the one that I just did with you guys because I am going to give it to my roommate's mom and I don't want to light it, obviously. But this is the one that I made a couple hours ago just to show you guys that it does work. And there we go. You have your own homemade candle. Two wicks for this one and I used three wicks for that one just because that's what I wanted to do. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make some other candles. I'll show you guys the other ones once they are done but I'm not gonna do it all on video just cause this is a lot of work. But this is what the candle looks like when it, once it is lit. I'm giving this one to my roommate. He said I could light it so that's cool. Um, but it smells like bay rum and vanilla and then this one obviously smells like pina colada. And then the ones that I'm making right now, I, I think I'm gonna make them smell like snow fairy. But I'm going to be doing the skull ones and the cauldron one and the colorful mug one just off camera really quickly. Okay, so this one is by far my favorite. So I made my skull, um, my well poison apple skull mug into a candle and the candle smells so amazing. I used the Dupe for Lush's uh, Snow Fairy. I used that um, essential fragrance and it smells just like it. It smells so amazing. So one thing that I will say about this wax, I got this wax at Michael's and it is just a standard candle wax. Um, you can obviously get like beeswax and soy waxes and waxes that are a little bit better um, from places like candle companies that sell candle making supplies or Amazon. I was just at Michael's today and I wanted to try making candles for the first time myself so that's why I just, just decided to grab the standard wax but it worked really well. It was very easy to use. The only thing that I don't particularly like about the Michael's wax is it has a kind of odd scent. It's not a strong scent at all, but there is a little bit of a scent to it. So if you um, are using a fragrance that isn't that strong, you will smell the wax scent through it. So that is one thing that I did notice when making the candles today. But I did think that this candle turned out really nice. I'm really excited for it. So if I use my lighter. It 
it's lit. Okay, so um, obviously this wick is a little bit higher than this wick just because of how I cut it, but I do think that this turned out really good and really cute and I'm very excited for it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was a really random video. I know this isn't usually what I do on my channel, but I definitely wanted to try making candles and this is just where it ended up today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this. If you guys have any more creative do-it-yourself ideas that you want me to try on my channel, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely try them out for you. I've been experimenting with bath bombs, candles, soap, stuff like that. and. This is just where I ended up today. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye.